Hi guys, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Gareth, I'm the owner and founder of The Other Guys UK. This year we really wanted to focus on the media side of things, but given Corona, shows aren't going ahead, which means that we can't give you guys regular videos, photos, um, so as a way of keeping the YouTube uh, active, unfortunately that means I'm going to have to sit in front of this camera and speak to you guys. And hopefully you watch it, maybe you won't. Um, we're not 100% sure on what these videos are going to be about, um, but I myself am building a transporter, camper slash show vehicle. Our good friends at Transport HQ have sent us a parcel this week um, and we thought this would be a great first video to show you what they've sent us. So let's take a look. So for the rear lights we've gone for the black smoke sequentials and for the fronts we've gone for the new V3 headlights in black. They also do a chrome option. They've actually got loads of lights so I'll link the uh, website below. Let's go and take a look. There we go. Let's have a little close up. They've also sent us over their H7 canvas bulbs, so we'll be fitting them as well, make them even brighter. It's late at night, I've just finished work, I want to have a couple of beers. So we're going to fit these in the morning. Um, hopefully it all goes to plan, it should do, it doesn't look too complex. Um, for anyone that's interested in buying these, Transport HQ have their own YouTube and they have loads of tutorials on there on how to fit some of their parts. So I'm going to do my homework on them again, because I really don't want to break anything. And I want it to go as smoothly as possible, especially the fact that you guys are going to be watching us. So yeah, we will fit them early tomorrow morning. So it's been a couple of days, the weather's not been great. I've had work, I've been at work today, but I just can't wait anymore. I wanna get these lights on the van. Um, I'll apologize now for the um, noise of the road, but it's what we're gonna to have to put up with. Can't go anywhere else to do this because of lockdown. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna do the rear lights now. I'm going to attempt to get the front lights done tonight as well, but we've also got the quiz that Zach Corey does on a Tuesday, and we really enjoy that. So, although I really want to get the lights on, Tuesday's our quiz night, so we're going to see how we get on. So that's the two Phillips screws removed, and now I think it's just clips. So that's the standard rear light off. Time to fit these. They're all plug and play, I do believe. We'll soon find out. Um, so let's get it fitted. I'm a little bit OCD, so I need to give it a quick clean behind before I fit the other one. As easy as that. And now it's just a case of putting the two screws back in. One side done. Now the clever thing to have done was before I screwed it in, I should have checked it was all working. But with how easy that plug was, I'm pretty confident. Anyway, let's have a look. So there's the old light. And the new one. Safe to say that's a massive, massive improvement. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. Within about 15 to 20 minutes plus recording, um, they're fitted up. The plug and play, it just makes everything so simple. Um, and I think, personally, it just makes the back end of the band look so much better. Right, let's do the fronts. Can I get a hello to the vlog from Zach, the quiz master, please? Hello, Gareth, shout out your vlog, mate. Hopefully lots of people want to log in and watch it. And hopefully when it's all over, we can have a good catch up. Right, so it's another new day. 
Let's give it a go again. Let's get these headlights fitted. So underneath the bonnet, we've got these little clips. Just remove all of them. Remove the little cover for the battery. Each arch, there's a total of five torque screws and one clip holding the bumper on, so we're gonna remove them. Now the bumper's off, we've got to take the lights out. Yet again, it's a new day. We managed to get one headlight fitted last night. However, when we went to get the second headlight out of the box, George slipped with some scissors um, and cut the top of her finger. For any of you that know her will understand how petrified she is of blood. Um, anyway, she ended up fainting, um, so I had to sort her out. And by the time again we come out, it was dark. This is trouble, I'm still working, so I'm only getting a couple of hours in the evening to film this, fit these and everything. It's just not enough time. We should be able to get these done tonight. We've only got one headlight left to put in and the bumper. So um, let's crack on before it gets dark again. One headlight is now fitted, time to do the other. We've already got the upgraded bulbs fitted. And again, just like the rears, it's all plug and play. A little bit awkward, the headlights are so big. That was a lot easier this time around, the fact that the sun's out. I totally forgot to get a before and after. But the new headlights with that sequential indicator just makes it look so much more modern. Modern. Love it. Right, front bumper time. Thought the camera was over there. It definitely goes on a lot easier than it come off. We had an absolute nightmare. Finally, the lights are all on and fitted. I am over the moon, they look so good. I wanna say a massive, massive thank you to Andy and the Transport HQ boys. The only issues we had was getting the front bumper off and that was just to us being inexperienced and the fact that Georgia cut her finger and put us behind a day, but I'll let her off. Um, like I say, really happy with how they come out. If you enjoyed this video, Hit like, subscribe, leave us a comment and maybe we'll do some more.